Hello everyone and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this is your bonus tea leaf fortune and angel messages reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for being here Aquarius. Please like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment below how this resonates and hit that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. Oops. No one's popping out already. All right, what does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, we're starting with a couple cards from the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. Keep in mind, these readings are general, so not everything will resonate. Take what does and leave what doesn't, and do check your other signs. All right, let's start with looking at this first card out, the Magician. It says, magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it, Aquarius. You know you can do it, Aquarius. I know that you know that you can do it, Aquarius. Awesome. All right, the magician. You've got it, Aquarius. Okay, what else do we have for Aquarius? From the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Angel Wizard Tarot for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, these readings are timeless. So whenever you are drawn to them, there's likely something meant for you. You can always come back at another time and give another listen. All right, so we've got the Six of Pentacles, okay? And it says, the good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. That's very nice, Aquarius, okay? There's some balance here. There's some balance here going on or need for balance. But with the Magician card, um, I'm seeing that there is balance being created and good things coming back to you due to the efforts that you have put forth. And we've got the seven of coins, which confirms what I just said um, about, it's about harvest. It's about harvest and seeing the results of your efforts. It says seeds will be, seeds well planted. I don't know why I kept saying will be because it doesn't say that and my eyes are not seeing it that way. It says seeds well planted, okay? but I think for some of you, seeds will be planted. So hopefully that message will come through a little bit stronger for me. I think that means something to some of you. Some seeds will be planted. The card says seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future, unnecessary worry, okay? So your seeds are planted, Aquarius, and there's no need to worry. She's just tending her garden. There's a watering can. All she really needs to do is give them a little bit of water. The hard part is done. There's a little yellow bird there. I don't know what kind of bird that is. I mean, I think of canary whenever I see yellow, but I don't know if, if that's actually what that is. But um, I encourage you to look up spiritual meanings of um, any kind of symbols that you see in these cards that I'm, I may point out to you, Aquarius. So look up birds, types of yellow birds, and whatever seems to resonate with you. Go with that, just like you would when you listen to a tarot or oracle reading. All right, Aquarius, we're going to go to the tea leaf cards right now. Let's see what else needs to come out for you. These readings are intended for about 30 days from the time you start watching them. But like I said, you can always come back at another time as there may be other messages that jump out to you. These are timeless readings. That is my intention. All these cards and the space have been cleared. I've cleared and prayed and meditated before each reading so that I can help you the best I can. Okay, Aquarius, your first tea leaf card is the grasshopper. I love this card. It says situations in the balance that require careful handling. And I would look up that grasshopper too because I think it means good luck. In some traditions it does anyway. 
the grasshopper. Situations in the balance that would require careful handling. So that may have something to do with that Seven of Pentacles card where you've already carefully handled those, those seeds that have been planted. And you just kind of need to nurture. It's time to nurture and your harvest will come through. And you've got the angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So this situation is blessed, Aquarius. Okay. The careful handling that is required is also being carefully handled by your angels. You're protected, the situation is protected. Some of you need to be told that there's no need to worry. All right, Aquarius, one more card for this first message, please. For Aquarius. For Aquarius. I'm going to cut the deck. Sometimes when I don't get a flipper, I know it's time to cut. And your third card here is dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. I think this means something to some of you. There may be somebody in particular. I'm noticing the dark hair on this angel, this angel card. I think for some of you, there's somebody in your life, a human being on this earth who you consider to be like your angel or your guardian angel. Okay, I'm feeling that resonate for some of you. At least one of you, because that seems like a very individualized message. But it could be more than one. It could be more than one. There's someone you see as an angel. It doesn't have to be a woman. I mean, this deck is a little bit different than the others, but it could be just someone of strong female energy. Okay. What else do we have for Aquarius? What else do we have for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? We've got the turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Okay, someone is making an ass out of themselves, <laughs> even though it's a turkey. Someone is just, um, just acting ridiculous. And you know this, Aquarius, or someone maybe told you that you are acting ridiculous. The feeling that I'm getting here, though, is of lightness. Like, just shake it off. If someone's acting stupid, just ignore them. If someone says that you're being ridiculous, just shake it off. Move on. Move on. Don't dwell. Don't dwell. But if it is someone else, um, just make sure you don't allow, don't allow um, their you know careless actions to affect you negatively. If they're just simply acting like an idiot, walk away. Okay, and we've got the well. So along with this second row of messages, family wishes come true. Okay, and there's a wishing well too. So this is reminding me of the uh, the nine of cups card where that means a wish coming true. The wishing well. It's just reminding me of that tarot card right now for some reason. And whatever the wishing well means to you. And I keep saying wishing well because it it says family wishes come true. So whatever that means to you, Aquarius. I think there's someone who's trying to be a fly in the ointment, but they're not going to succeed. They're just going to embarrass themselves. Okay, one more card. Oh my gosh, the sun. Happiness and well-being. So all will be fine. All will be fine. The sun's going to shine and everything is going to be fine. Happiness and well-being. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know? Okay, we've got the barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Okay, Aquarius, let's go on with this message and see what else we can get to clarify what that means, something lacking, a feeling that something is lacking. Mountain road, maybe something's been a long road for you, but it says you are on the road to success, Aquarius. Okay, so maybe you're feeling like you've been working super, super hard, and why am I not seeing the results? And even that's where you're feeling a sense of lack, but that harvest is going to come in. The energy is there for your harvest to come in, Aquarius. All right, one more for this message for Aquarius. Oops, all righty. What do we have here? Dog barking, advice, advice from a friend. Okay. 
could be man's best friend. It could be literal in a literal sense. You might have a dog or maybe you have a neighbor that has a dog that just loves you. I just remember this story my girlfriend told me about her dog and her mailman are really great buds and it seems to bring her a lot of joy. And it brings me joy to hear the doggy story. So maybe there's a dog in your life or a pet that is making you happy. Bowl, plenty of material things, okay? Here we go again with that harvest, Aquarius. I think you've already worked really hard. I think you've worked a lot harder than you realize. And you're going to see the fruits of your labor. All right, Aquarius, what else do we have? We have got the quill. Get back to the basics, Aquarius. Maybe some of you are making things too complicated, either in your mind or um, just, uh, what was I gonna say, like in your mind, maybe you're making things too complicated or maybe um, you are overly focused on some details that don't need quite that much attention. There are certain details that always need attention, um, like reading fine print and stuff like that, but I think that maybe um, you've been overly scrutinizing with certain things that you can just, um, just I don't wanna say lighten up because it doesn't sound nice, but um, eat, go easier on yourself about certain manners, matters, certain matters. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. We've got coins again, this came out before, so Aquarius money will be coming to you. There's that harvest. Harvest is the, the theme word, I think, for this, <laughs> for this reading. Money will be coming to you. Showering down, raining on you. You've got the sun card too. Um, we've got carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Okay, so I think things are moving forward for you very nicely, Aquarius. I'm gonna draw a couple of cards for closing the reading from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. What else does Aquarius need to know? Angel Answers Oracle deck. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for being here. Please comment below how this resonates. I would greatly appreciate that. Hit that like button, share and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. I will be uploading on a regular basis, doing a different um, variety of readings. Just some, some stuff I'm kinda coming up with each day, new ideas. Okay, Aquarius, look for a sign. Look for a sign. All right, I'm gonna keep going here and see how that ties in. Compromise, okay? Aquarius, you need to compromise. I'm trying to see, I think I think a lot of you need to compromise with yourself. I'm seeing the scales here, um, which is reminding me of the Six of Coins card, a need for balance. And I think as you compromise, you will um, have that feeling of balance um, and equality that you are seeking. Inner balance within yourself and equality in um, situations and people that you are dealing with. There's some kind of compromise needed here. Look for a sign. I think some of you um, are looking for reassurance. I think you're um, very focused on one thing um, and you're not, you're not quite sure if it's going the way you expect it to, but I think that things are going smoothly. Um, that harvest is coming in and I don't think it's going to be too long. Divine timing is an interesting thing. They're kind of, it's not like human timing, but it's coming. You're, it's something you've already been building on. And I think you need to see Aquarius, some kind of sign that um, you are producing something, but it, it is there. I think you're going to have some kind of indication soon that what you have been working on um, is, um, unfolding and growing. All right. It's one of those days that I'm just dropping the cards a lot more than usual. And you've got abundance. Ta-da! Abundance. Check it out. Abundance and coins. Money will be coming to you. Aquarius. And this is from your hard work. Awesome. All right. Let's see if there's one more for Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know? What else? All right, what do we have here? Was that two? That was one, okay. Choose a new direction, okay? Does that mean something to Aquarius? Choose a new direction. 
Hmm. I'm trying to see what I'm getting from this. I think this is for some of you, maybe a couple of you. Um, there we go. Choose a new direction. Um, okay, so what I am getting for you, Aquarius, is that you have been on the right path. Um, I think that maybe something has been distracting you and you need to tell that person or that thought to choose a new direction. I don't think this is necessarily um, directed toward you. Maybe for some of you, maybe some of you do need to choose a new direction. Maybe it's time to um, take a little bit of a detour because you've received, uh, reached, reached a couple of roadblocks. So you need to take a little bit of a detour. Like you can't very well walk through a big boulder, but you can go around it. So I think that message pertains to some of you. Others of you, um, I think you're needing to tell others, okay, you need to go your own way because I am going to continue on with what I'm doing right now and um, you're getting in my way. That's what I'm getting there, Aquarius. Very interesting, but all in all, this reading is really great. I hope it helps some of you, if not all of you, and thank you so much for being here, Aquarius, and I will see you again soon. Please hit that like button and look out for future readings. Take care.